All right, for the uh, uh, working with arrows, you know, we've done a little bit of warm up with uh, creating different types of um, kind of thin arrows as well as 3D arrows. And so this time we want to actually see it in see it in action. So one of the things we want to do is show that a, a character is going to turn their head to uh, to one direction or another. And so we'll go ahead and um, create character's head. So they're looking just a, a little off camera, and then I'm going to say they're going to look towards screen left. And so we can we can tell that it, that it's going to be a kind of a turning of their neck because we've got this curved arrow and so if the person was going to continue to look towards the right screen right we'd do the same thing and if somebody's just um, if they're uh, startled or something by by sound we could kind of mix these two and say that at the beginning of the shot the person is looking towards the screen right and then they change their view to screen left so that, that little curl of the arrow shows that they're going to turn their head that direction and uh, I'm a little bad about making the arrowhead kind of continue with the with the curve so uh, something that would probably work a little bit better uh, rather than erasing that we'll just do it again uh, something that would work a little bit better let's say he's looking towards screen right and then he's going to turn his head to look to the left. So, a little bit better. Again, I have a, I have a tendency to want to hook hook the arrow there at the end, but it should uh, should just look straight ahead. Uh, I also like to do filled arrowheads because um, I have a little bit of a drafting background, but, uh, but you can certainly just do uh, stick arrowheads like that. Did this in the warm-up, but it's kind of good to see it again. We've got, uh, got a body in, in a full shot. I've been Sticking with these um, uh, oval bodies here lately. So he's standing, and uh, we'll say he's got one arm down, and the other one is going to wave. So we want to show he's waving back and forth. So, so two arrows. And uh, this is, a, of course, a quick sketch, and uh, even by its height, I could probably, for, for a a finished storyboard I could consider going ahead and finishing them off. And the other thing about finishing them with uh, with regular lines is that you can make little corrections as needed. So that's our uh, full shot, and then something else as far as working with uh, arrows is that it would be nice to um, to show a shot of maybe just a, a little insert or close closer shot of someone uh, lifting an object up, and so we just kind of see their arm come into frame, and then um, and then have them pick something up, and so they could pick up uh, let's say they just pick up an apple. So we see them, and I can draw hands, but I don't want to take the time to do it. So there he is, holding the apple, and he's going to pick it up. So again, these little arrows are just about showing the movement of an object in the frame. Um, the other type of arrow that I mentioned in the warm-up is, um, is for camera movement. And so we designate the camera arrow differently. We either make it three-dimensional or if anything, at, at its basic level, the, the arrow for camera movement is just has thickness to it. Now my preference is to make it 3D, and you will see that a lot. But uh, but the main thing is it's it has a mass to it compared to object movement arrows. So um, uh, one of the things we want to do is show uh, uh, like a, a camera dollying in. So I've got something similar here. So we've got, let's say, we've got a character who's uh, standing in frame, and we'll just go ahead and start them out as, as, a, as a full shot. <laughs> so 
and they're here doing their thing with their short legs and um, and we want to be able to uh, push in with it. Now one of the problems I've kind of created for myself here is that um, when when sketching like this I probably should do just the figure first and then draw the uh, uh, draw the frame but I didn't do it so so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw it like this then so my arrow kind of coming in to show that we're gonna we're gonna dolly in is here and then we'll do an eraser or we could shade it in uh, now my arrow is outside of the box and that can be problematic when you're work working with a program like Storyboarder or creating an animatic or something. Now in an animatic we would go ahead and animate that so you, you might just say well it's fine if it gets clipped off but if you, um, you want to keep the, uh, the arrow in the frame then uh, I'm just going to redraw that. So we'll get our frame and then um, get our figure, so I'm going to actually frame him in here a little bit better. Uh, I made his head a little bit too big there originally, so I didn't, didn't have much room for the rest of his body. Oh. And so for the arrow, you can just get it into, into the shot, or into the frame, better. So that works better. So uh, this just ends up being a triangle. You know, if you were to cut it off, uh, this one we can actually see the arrow in there. Um, some storyboard artists will also just go in with a, a red marker or a red uh, highlighter and actually do the, all the shading of the camera arrows with uh, a big red marker. But uh, in this case, I'm just using the fact that it's big 3D thing that, that we can tell that's that's what's going on with the uh, with the camera. So uh, uh, if we want to show uh, more of a tracking shot, so the camera is like moving along with the, with the character, then uh, we can do that here. So uh, we'll start with the frame again. We'll get our, our character kind of doing his thing, walking along. At a quick pace, at least in the way he's leaning here, and uh, and then uh, we want to show that the camera is going to move with him. So I'm just going to do a, a little little line to tell me the direction. A couple of lines to show me where the uh, the arrow should go, and then go ahead and draw the arrow. And so now we know the camera's going to move with him. So he'll pretty much stay the same framing while he's walking. I drew that one pretty small, and it's, uh, it's actually my preference for, for a lot of uh, storyboards because I can get them done quickly, but it, it, it can be a little tough. And so um, when you're actually doing your storyboard layouts, you may go, I'm going to go just a, a little bit bigger, probably something closer to that, to uh, give yourself a little more room to uh, to work